Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing great and we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the Atlantic and focus will be on the Caribbean. So uh, out there in the Atlantic, we see that frontal system and even some activity along the intertropical convergence zone, all that convection. And uh, that is where the trade winds of the north and south meet. And at times we see activities such as this, a lot of increase in showers and thunderstorms down there. And and then as we head into the Caribbean, there is still some activity over in parts of Central America, but that is slowly dissipating. So conditions will continue to improve. However, another big surge of all that activity is on the way and we could see development out of that as we head into next week. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is expected. So first things first, we're swimming into the Caribbean here. As I said, uh, we're seeing less and less activity over in the vicinity of Central America. And uh, we're also seeing the remnants of that front, which was in the area. So there isn't a whole lot going on right now but there is still a chance for some periods of some heavy rainfall through today across some areas and that can even lead to some cases of additional flooding across sections of central america we'll be going on to what the rainfall forecast is in a moment and then as we head toward the cayman islands not seeing a whole lot either or portions of cuba maybe a bit of rainfall or overcast conditions similar surface sections of the bahamas Things are on the clearer side for eastern Cuba, the uh, southern Bahamas, as well as the Turks and Caicos Islands, Jamaica, going to Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, and even the Virgin Islands. But then as we head toward the Lesser Antilles, we're seeing that there is some activity within the area. So there may be intermittent periods of showers and thunderstorms as we head through today. Similar story as we head down to Trinidad and Tobago. And then for the ABC Islands, there could also be some rainfall activity as we head through today. And that is all reflected on the rainfall forecast from the Euro model here. We can see that this map gets pretty colorful across some areas. And the more we head toward those burgundies, those reds, burgundies, purples, a lot more heavy rainfall. So as we head through today, there could be maybe an additional three or four inches of rainfall activity across portions of Central America. And uh, we're seeing those colors as we head toward uh, Belize, the offshore islands, the Keys, and uh, also over into parts of Guatemala and even for the Bay Islands of Honduras. So within this area here, there could be some heavy downpours, even across other areas. There could be some heavy downpours at times and flooding could be triggered, but uh, there's likely to be a bit more within these areas of these burgundies and these purples. Going toward uh, the Yucatan of Mexico, we're not seeing where a whole lot is expected through today. As we head toward the Cayman Islands, most of Cuba, similar story here for uh, parts of Jamaica and eastern Cuba. Some showers or thunderstorms may be popping up later today or through the day. Some activity could be moving through as we head toward uh, portions of the Bahamas, especially going toward the southern Bahamas. Uh, there could be some rainfall activity. Turks and Caicos Islands, much is not expected, neither for uh, Hispaniola, which includes Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and then as we head toward uh, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and through most of the Leeward Islands, there could be some activity popping up through today. But then as we head toward the Southern Leeward Islands, Guadeloupe, Dominica, and through the Windward Islands, Martinique, going to St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, including Barbados, and even down through Trinidad and Tobago, we could see quite quite a bit of activity. There could be some periods of heavy downpours across some areas. Uh, if there's a lot of heavy rainfall very quickly, there could be some uh, isolated flooding across some areas as we head through today. Over toward the ABC Islands, we're definitely seeing that there could be quite a bit of rainfall through today. Hopefully that's the case. I know that you guys have been enjoying it. I've been seeing your comments. And then as we head to Northern South America, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, for most of Guyana, uh, there could be quite a bit of rainfall activity as we head through today. Uh, not as much for Suriname, but there could still be some activity there as well. So that is what is expected across the region, guys. And now we want to go ahead and talk about uh, what the models are expecting as it relates to development of that expected system for next week. 
First up, we're taking a look at what the euro has to show. And this is as we head out into Thursday of next week. And uh, with each euro run, we're seeing some stronger signs that we may see something really try to form. We're seeing some of uh, these green shadings. They represent that precipitation rate. So when we see those darker shadings of green, going towards some spots of yellows and oranges a lot more rain is expected so there's definitely some hints here that euro is expecting that we may see something try to develop but regardless look at all of this increase in moisture across central america so many areas that will be undergoing cleanup from the recent floods unfortunately another surge of all that activity is on the way as we head into next week as we head toward the Canadian model now, this is as we head out to the same time. The Canadian is not showing something defined, but look at all this activity. A lot is expected across the Western Caribbean, not only for Central America, but even other areas as well uh, could experience an increase in all that moisture. Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica. So that is what the Canadian model is forecasting by that time. And then the ICON model. ICON is not showing anything defined, but we also see that increase increase in moisture. Finally, we have the GFS. So here we are taking a look at it. This is as we head out to Monday the 13th. So next Monday, and the model here is showing that we will definitely see development in the Western Caribbean. And by the latter part of the week, Thursday the 16th, there will be a tropical storm headed right into the vicinity of the Yucatan as well as Honduras. So GFS is actually showing something for them. Meanwhile, other models are hinting at all that moisture increase and formation will all be dependent on how conducive the environment is. Uh, we already know that those uh, surface waters are very warm, but also that uh, those upper level winds have to be conducive, coupled with a lot of moisture around to actually support development. And there will likely be two main inhibiting factors. One, land interaction, two, wind shear. Typically at this time of year, the wind shear is getting more and more unfavorable, coupled with the fact that there's actually an El Nino out there. So with an El Nino, there's increased shear across the Atlantic. That's what typically happens. But if there is a break in it for long enough, then we could certainly see those thunderstorms really get themselves together and uh, develop. And then with land interaction, if that area of low pressure is in and out, in and out of land, just not remaining over those very warm waters, then it is pretty likely that we won't see too much become of it. Regardless, though, even if that prevents development to some degree, it is likely to induce a lot of heavy rainfall across Central America. So as we've seen, models are pretty consistent on that, even though they're not all showing that we'll definitely see something, a tropical depression or even a tropical storm form as we head into next week it certainly is possible but there isn't very very high confidence on that just yet and with that being said uh, the national hurricane center has not highlighted a new area to watch but i'm expecting that they will maybe by this weekend so we'll have to wait and see guys and that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update and also as it relates to my evening update as the hurricane season comes to a close and there's less and less activity going on i will start sticking to one update today but i'll post two once necessary so just wanted to get that out there to you guys but that is pretty much it for right now and i hope you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weather wise